This one's for all the new members. Welcome to the Camarilla! By now you have your handbook and your member card. If you don't yet, that's okay. No one else does either. But once you do have those things, when you've read both the in and out of character rules, you'll think you're ready to jump on in and game. Well, you're not. There are some very important things you don't know. The six unwritten rules of the Camarilla normally only come to you through trial and error, but I'm going to do you a favor and impart them to you early on. For those of you who've been in the cam for years, you'll be able to hear all this and say, Hey, I know that guy! Or just as often, Hey, I am that guy. So let's get started. Rule one! When making a character, don't be a jackass! A character can make a joke, a joke can't be a character. Any concept that begins with the phrase, wouldn't it be cool if, is the gaming equivalent of, hey y'all, watch this. Also, learn the difference between inspiration and Xerox. There's really nothing new under the sun, but don't make a damn clone of Neo or John Constantine and expect anyone to do anything but mock you mercilessly. Next, no matter what venue you're in, the following should never, ever be used as part of a character name. Dark, Black, Knight, Raven, Wolf, Blood, Moon, Demon, Pain, Cross, or Steel. Seriously, you're neither a goddamn X-Man nor the fucking vampire Lestat. Finally, being crazy doesn't make you a cartoon. Crazy is scary, crazy is bad, crazy is not trying to shove a midget up your nose with space and forces. Don't do it. Rule 2. Put the cards away. I know your PC has some awesome powers, but throwing them around like confetti is the gaming equivalent of whipping out your dick and merrily jerking off in front of God and everybody. I hate to break it to you, but no, your wallet isn't the one with bad motherfucker written on it. Sorry. And don't even try that. My PC was bored shit. If you're ever sitting around your house with nothing to do and decide it's a good idea to set fire to your neighbor's minivan, it's time to up the meds. It's not cool, it's not fun, and precisely no one is impressed. There's a time to throw chops and a time to roleplay. Learn which is which. Rule three, not everyone wants to hear about your character. It's fine if someone asks you, but when you just spring it on them, understand you are raping their goddamn ear. Seriously, if your character really is the second coming, that'll show through in your roleplay. Otherwise, no one gives a shit. Rule four, no whining, no cheating. Look, if you're in the middle of a kill box and decide to pitch a hissy fit about your PC getting killed, you are more or less screaming to all the world, never fuck me. Yes, STs will fuck up. Yes, other people will cheat. Life can suck like that. But the mature thing to do is to file an appeal. Don't ball up your fists and stamp your little feet. As far as the opposite sex is concerned, you just yank down your britches and drop the turd in the middle of the road. Think of it this way. Did Luke Skywalker ever get laid in the movies? No! All that whining twin ever got to do was kiss his sister. If someone pulls it on you, never play with them. Ever. Avoid them in and out of character. If nobody plays with them, then all they'll end up doing is playing with themselves. Rule 5. Learn to spell. If you're writing a three-page email diatribe about how awesome your prince is, it's going to be a lot more compelling if you didn't spell magnificent with a W. If the 21st century grammar and spell checks are in every application and take all of 20 seconds to use. If your email comes out looking like it was butt-fucked by a speaking spell, exactly how much weight is it going to carry? Also, if you're going to play a character in 1890s London, read a fucking book about 1890s London. If you're going to play an Ordo Dracul, read the fucking Ordo Dracul book. Otherwise, you're going to end up Sir Jackass McDumb shit of the Axe Warren, and there is no saving throw versus pointing and laughing. Rule six, you're not going to win. You're not supposed to win. The game is a story, and the best stories happen when protagonists lose. It makes it all the better when you do get one over on the bad guys. Setbacks make a PC. Accept them with grace and style and use them to make the game more interesting. Otherwise, you're just gaining XP and killing things while being a snide fuck. They already have that game. It's called World of Warcraft. And there you have it, the six unwritten rules of the Camarilla. Knowing this won't make you a better person, improve your life, or end world hunger, but it may just make the game a little more fun and make you less likely to suck. Remember, 
In a room of camis, one out of ten is a douchebag. If you can't figure out which one, it's you.